So we have a distinguished panel. Uh, we're going to start with, um, I, think, I think Andrew is going to talk uh, for the joint paper with uh, Steve, and I'm going to allow them 18 minutes each to do disseminate their wisdom to us. Thank you very much, Andrew. Yeah, th th thank you. Thank you, Alan. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is a joint paper uh, that we did with Steve. Um, a, a, a longer version of, the, of the, the, the paper is available online, but for now, we will ju we'll just do a, a summary of the main takeaways that's in the paper. The, the paper was done, done in, in 2022. 2022 or 2022, really at the height of the pandemic. So we did mainly, you know, by virtual consultation. Steve was in DC, I was in Osaka. So some of the data may have shifted, but the message I think will be consistent. So that's the outline, you know, what are the key issues, what are the uh, developments in the metal markets, mainly copper, trends in output and then mineral revenues, and then we discuss the options to expand revenues with the main conclusions. Okay, what are the key issues? You know, <coughs> Zambia is a mining country, and you know, mining has provided the, the bulk of the revenues for, 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 for almost the, the last 100 years. So it's, it's, it's key to the, to the country's economy. But uh, mineral tax policy remains contentious for many stakeholders who feel that the country does not benefit from its resources adequately to its full potential. Many point to the paradox of rising copper prices and output without corresponding boost in revenues and, and reserves. In fact, one international civil site network puts it more bluntly. You know, they, they say that Zambia is, is notorious for ending the hydro from its uh, minerals. That, that's a, a thesis which, which is out there. So we, we, are, we, are, we have had many changes in tax uh, uh, policy over time, but uh, with not much success. In fact, uh, the, the, the Minerals Act of 2015 is currently under review. With the, with the possibility of, um, you know, in increasing the, the, the benefits of, of both parties, the, the, the developers as well as the government. What are the global developments in the markets? Um, where consumption of copper is projected to, to increase by an average of 2.5 percent in the over the next decade and, and beyond, and it's expected to reach 20 million tons in 2026 and 30 million tons by 2030. This is, this is driven mainly by the, the, the new green energy requirements. And it, it presents you know, a good opportunity for, for countries like Zambia and other metal producers in the copper and cobalt to take advantage. So the, 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 the market is so attractive that you know, a lot of developers are coming into the market in, for new exploration, in, 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 including in countries which were at, at one time were seen to be quite risky. So the opportunities are out there. What are the trends uh, locally in Zambia? Uh, you know, after a steep decline in, in, the, in, in the 90s, when the, 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 there was a stalemate in the mines. The, the mines, the government was trying to privatize, to privatize the mines, but there was a protracted negotiation with, the, with, the, with companies. As, as a result, output ground is almost zero. And, and you know, the, um, the, there wasn't mu much output coming out, and there wasn't much revenues in, in terms of, um, of mining. But in the mid-2000s, in the mid, uh, they finally struck a deal where, where new investors came into the country to, to invest and uh, you know, improve the mining conditions. So production uh, has been increasing ever since. In fact, in 2015, it was, it, it was uh, just over 700,000 tons, and this, this, this rose to almost a, a million tons in 2021. It has stabilized around that level for now, and that's, those are the figures we're working with. Mineral prices also you know, rose rapidly. In fact, in 2021, it exceeded uh, 10,000 tons per ton, but it, it has 
It has come down in, you know, a bit. I, I think the, the, the latest figures I was seeing were about $8,000 per ton. But, you know, it, it's still qualified to be described as the, the new oil. What are the issues in, my, in, in mining revenues? Um, you know, Zambia's revenue from copper and other minerals has not matched the trend in rising production. I, I, I already mentioned that. Uh, the country has, has accumulated the uh, little reserves in the face of higher prices, and, and, and the local currency, the kwacha, you know, over, over, over the same period depreciated uh, significantly. There, there, there was, a, there, there was a, a slight appreciation when, when um, the country was nearing uh, a, a, debt, a debt relief package, and, you know, this, the, 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 on, on, on the news of that, the, the, the quarters, you know, rose in quite a bit, but the generator has been depreciating. Now, what are the options to expand revenues? The, the first one is uh, to have a comparative tax regime. Sorry, a competitive tax regime. And, you know, by, by that, we mean that a tax regime that enhances revenues, but also sustains production and investments from, uh, from developers. We use the, the example of Botswana a lot in, in our paper because Botswana is seen as one of the success stories in terms of uh, you know, expanding revenues for mining as well as generally avoiding the, 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 the resource case to which many countries have succumbed. So you know, Botswana receives you know, large uh, you know, revenues in terms of um, the royalties, dividends, and also corporate taxes, you know, because Botswana, apart from uh, mining, the, 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 the government has a, has a large stake in the, in, in the major company there, you know, so they, they, they participate in the royalties. So we feel that uh, Zambia could adopt some of these best practices from our, from, from our, from our neighbor. Yeah, they, 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 there was an amendment um, in, in, to, the, to the Minerals Act in, in 2020, which focused mainly on the treatment of the uh, royalties. Now, the, uh, our assertion also is that uh, in a, no amount of taxation can bring in enough revenues because of issues of um, tax avoidance and, and so forth. So we, we feel that uh, Ownership of the asset is also is also quite important. So we are, we, are, we advocated in the paper that you know the, um, the the government and other local actors could broaden ownership of the mines, you know, to increase the um, lo local asset ownership, you know, through through a strategic acquisition, you know, not, not by mass nationalisation or whatever, but strategic acquisition, market based op operations, to make sure that you know this is done. You know, with the, on, with the, by mutual consent. Yeah, I, I, again, I come back to Botswana. You know, in Botswana, the, the mining, the, 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 dam, the, the, dam, the diamond giant, the, the bears, and the government have a 50% in joint venture between them, you know, which, 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 which allows both parties to access. When, 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 the, when the revenues increase, both, part, both parties share equally, and, and, you know, and, and so forth. In Zambia, of course, you know, the, the local holding companies, this is CMIH, already holds an average of 20% share in mining assets, which we, the, the, this, product, this provides a good basis for, for building strong joint ventures, you know, going forward. But a, 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 a share holding of 50% is really, is really ideal both in terms of revenues as well as in, you know, in decision making, you know, you know, when it comes to investments and also other, other key decisions. The, the issue of capacity. Capacity bordering not only on, the, in the, on institutions, but also on, 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 the, on, on governance. We, we propose that, you know, the, there should be Efforts to revamp capacity for monitoring the flow of money resources in and out of the country, you know, and adopt policy reforms to ensure effective and fair taxation on, for, for both parties. 
There's also, there should also be investment in capacity across relevant agencies governing the mining sector, including, including you know, uh, government ministries, the, the, the tax authority, and, um, uh, and so on. So, so the, 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 the general need for capacity, especially at the legal level, I, I understand that in terms of fiscal, you know, it has been improving, but at the, at, at the legal level, there is need to have capacity, which can um, ascertain, you know, quantities and qualities of, you know, of exports at, at, at exit, so that you know what the country is, uh, is, is pushing out and what revenues are coming in. Finally, on the, on the options to expand revenues is, is the fact that you know, the, the, the country should enter in, 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 in an aggressive manner the mineral and, and green value chains which are, which are, which are coming up. You know, the, to enter the mineral value chain created by the ongoing shift to green energy and the electric, electric vehicles. And also to expand um, alternative uses of metals locally with the goal of boosting uh, the, the role of metals in, in industrialization. You know, we, we are talking about uh, value addition in, in, in this context. Because the, the, the only way to exit the, um, the resource case is, is through industrialization to convert the minerals that we produce into, in, into sophisticated products which can, which, can, which can compete internationally. So we, again, I'll give an example of Botswana. You know, you know in Botswana, what they do, well, they, over time, whenever, whenever they renegotiate the contracts with the, with the bears, the government puts up some demands. You know, there have been, um, you know, one of the things that they kept uh, hitting on was to have um, as much as possible local beneficiation of diamonds. And at every stage, they were increasing the the local content into into the diamonds. So, the, so the, this, this is one aspect that you know we, in Zambia they can they can also use when you, when when you negotiate with the mines, you discuss how they, they can you know expand value addition. We we we, we have in Zambia a, a, a number of companies which are which are already into metal fabrication. They they, they have been producing uh, cables and other components from, uh, from minerals for some time, but uh, they, they, could, they, they could go beyond that and, and, and get more sophisticated to tap into the, the, the new products, especially the, 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 EV, the, the EV components which are coming up. And um, last but not, not least, the, um, between Zambia and, 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 uh, and, and, uh, and DRC, they produce they produce they produce almost seventy percent of the of the of the of the minerals, especially cobalt and and, and copper. So you know, as neighbors, they they could enhance collaboration to to to, to develop a, a mineral industrial complex. I, I, I whenever whenever I talk about this, I, I, I say, look, we are we are we have a common border. Let's use that uh, no man's land, you know, to, to to do this, and you know. We hope that you know, this, this will be followed through. They, they have started already the, the efforts. I think the, I think some memo use have, have, have started, but um, speed is really essential. Yeah, these, these are the main recommendations. Yeah, I, I, I've already outlined them. The, the first one is to adopt a minimum tax, tax regime, which is which will enhance revenue. The second one is to expand local ownership because we think that uh, taxation is a necessary but not sufficient condition to. To, to, to improve the revenues, and also to, to revamp the institutions to monitor and ensure effective stabilization, including uh, strengthening um, mining surveillance in, 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 the, in the main uh, tax authority, the Zambia Revenue Authority, and also deepen participation in, in global minerals value chains, adding value to Zambia's copper and cobalt that are key to renewable energy technologies. Thank you.